I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 2nd, 2021, and in this video, I'll be setting up Prometheus as a data source in Grafana. Okay, this should be short and sweet. Let's get right to it. So let me go SSH. What I have done is I have a, a Prometheus box I set up that has Prometheus and Grafana on it. I've written a couple of videos on it, so I'll put links in my show notes to that, how to install Grafana and Prometheus on Ubuntu 2004 and get some data in there, and also get Node Exporter installed on there. So I have on the same server, Prometheus, Grafana, and node exporter. So let me go log in here right now and I will uh, pull some ports to make my life easier. 3000 local 9090 local host 9090 9100 local host 9100. Boom. Okay. And just to let people know, lsb release dash a, this should be Ubuntu 2004. Not that matters but that's what it is. Okay, so now that we've got this up here, we just want to go check our statuses. So system control status uh, Grafana Servo is how I set it up. It's all in system D. So there we go, that one's running. And we'll check Prometheus. Prometheus. And that one's running. And then lastly, node exporter. Okay, so we're all running, life is good. Okay, so now let me go over here and we'll go out here to uh, my localhost 3000 and log in because I pulled the ports just to make my life easy. And right now I've just set up the user admin and I literally put the password in password right now until I go change the config. So we'll log in here and I'm the administrator, I can do whatever I want. And I'll go over here to uh, configurations and go to data sources and from here it's relatively easy so all I got to do is say add a data source and here we got I can search from Prometheus if I want to narrow it down but Prometheus happened to be on the top there and I'll select it and then from here now you can do a bunch of configurations but I'm going to be fairly simple so here uh, since it's running on the same server I can literally do HTTP local local host uh, 9090. I can literally do that. Now normally if it was some other server I got to put the actual IP address in there or the DNS entry but here I don't. Now other other things I don't have anything special going on. I don't have any authentication, TLS, I don't have SSL certificate set up so nothing on this I need to set up at all. So very 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 simple. So that's all I got to do. Come down here and it's nice. I love this. You can hit save and test. Save and test. Boom. Data source is working. So we are confirmed and we are done. And that's technically it for the video. So the rest of this video, I'll actually go prove that I can pull some data in there and make a whiteboard. So uh, next I'll go here, go to configurations, go to data sources. And now we'll see, I actually have this one set up. So that is one of my data sources set up, life is good. So now I'll go here and I'll say, create a dashboard, add a new panel. And what I'll do is I'll go over here to localhost 9100. So I'm, that's actually what's being exposed by the node exporter on that guy. And what I'll do is I'll do, let me see. Let me copy and paste over here to make sure I've done this right. There we go, node CPU seconds total. So come over here and we'll say, okay, we'll put in node CPU seconds total and we'll see, I've got data. But uh, what I wanna do, it's a little simple cause I only got one server going on, is I want to, uh, kind of figure out uh, my current CPU, what, what my current CPU load on the guy is. So, uh, oh, and also I'll put a link in my show notes to my actual blog post. So there's a blog post going over this too, which might be easier for cutting and pasting things. Because what I'm going to do next, so I'll kind of cut and paste this, where what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the node CPU seconds, which actually has different features on there, and I'll say, give me the idle. Because in my, sense, my mind, anything that's idle is not running, but everything else is. And I'll get the rate of that, 15 minutes. And then what I'll do is I'll average that by node, which actually, that actually would work. So if you did it by node, uh, that would separate the different computers out. That's right. And then you get the average, multiply it uh, 100 minus that. And basically that should get you your current CPU usage. And so over here, I'll just say, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, so I'll come over here and just say CPU usage, and I'll come down here to the display, and we'll go boom, 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 axes, and we'll say left, short, linear, Y minimum, uh, 
zero, I'll say y minimum max is 100. That way I kind of get my CP usage. And you can see right now we're not doing much. So that should be from 0 to 100. And click save. Click. There we go. Okay. So we'll say last hour. We'll bring that over here. And we'll see. Boom. We're not doing a whole lot. But we'll confirm that. So we'll go over here. <clears throat> in fact, let me go. I should probably go log in here twice. Boom. Boom. Okay, so here I'll just do HTOP just to show that not much is going on. You can see, and if you don't have it, HTOP usually is installed by default. Usually just top is. So on Ubuntu, you have to do sudo apt get install HTOP. I like HTOP. Anyway, you can see CPU, nothing's going on. So that kind of confirms what's going on. Uh, also, <clears throat> so next thing, we kind of want to stress it out to see if we can actually force it to, to do that, to have the CPU bump. So the sudo apt.get install stress, whoop, stress. We'll install the stress tool. And then we shall say, we'll say stress, this, this virtual CPU has, this virtual computer has two CPUs. So we'll say stress, CPU, dash dash CPU two. And now it should peg everything. So we can see over here on HTOP, it's pegging it out. And then over here, it might take it a few minutes to get that data point because we're only scraping. <clears throat> if you go over here and look at the scrapes, we're getting the metrics on any 100. There we go. So in a few minutes, we'll have our data and we should see this thing go boom, bump up to 100. There we go, boom, now we're at 100. So let's go down to 15 minutes. We can see we're at 100. And we'll let it sit there for a little bit so we get a nice little graph. There we go. Now I'll come back and I'll cancel that and I'll say CPU just one. That way I'll just stress one of the CPUs, which we can see here we're stressing out one, but not the other. And this uh, formula I'm using is actually gathering all the data together. So it's all the CPUs, whether you have one, two, four, eight is the way I wrote it. So we should see this guy drop down to 50% any minute here. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So very easy to add the data source and just wanted to prove that it was working. And there we have our CPU usage. So boom, good to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver. Or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.